get uh, number 23 from your homework. This was trying to find the determinant, determinant of 4 by 4 matrix. Now when you look at them, uh, I do see two zeros repeating here. But uh, I still have to work on these two. So, but, but I noticed that there are some values that are very similar. Such as here, 2, 2, 1, 1 and 3 and 3, except that they are a little bit different over here. So what I'm going to do is this. I want to get rid of uh, uh, R2. What I want to do is R second row will be subtracting from the third row. Now, since my uh, what you call it, uh, plus sign is with the third row, what I'm going to do is whatever I'm writing down will be on, the, on my third row right over here. Then, 0, 0, 4, 6, 2, 1, 1, 3, and then I'm going to have 0, 0, 1, and then 0. And we have 3, 0, uh, 1, 7. So when I try to find the determinants along this third row right over here, because all the other elements are equal to zero except the third one, all I have to do is I need to find the determinant about this element, third row, third column value, and then just find the uh, matrix based upon the remaining stuff. I mean, the determinant based upon the remaining stuff. So in other words, in order for me to find the determinant based upon this one, but since the third row, third column three and three, when I add them up, it becomes even number. So I'm just gonna put down the plus sign over here, positive sign, and then get the uh, determinant of the remaining one. So zero, zero, six, two, one, three, Three zero seven, but to find the uh, determinant determinant of three by three, I'm gonna apply. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the first row here, because I have a zero zero. Then I can just rewrite this one as plus one times. I can just look at this one. Six times. The de uh, determinant of the minor. The minor uh, is two one three zero. Then what do I end up getting? So one times six becomes six, and this one is what two uh, minus. Uh, I mean two times a zero, which is equal to zero, minus three. So negative three, which becomes negative eighteen. So therefore, my determinant would have been negative eighteen. That's how we can do it. See you later.